Play behind. <laughs> Away in the test match here. Second game of triple hitter. Great Britain, 1-17 is published on Tuesday, reminding you that uh, Cody Nikarima, there he is, hanging the dummy half right there. No Brandon Smith for this game. The Smith drops. Move Josh James on the way. Hold. Hold. Not meeting the standards of the Kiwis jersey. Jerome Hughes will remain on the bench wearing 14. Tapani here, hitting it up. Three. Missed last week's test on suspension. Joseph Tapani, a fine Wait. season Go for Canberra. Three. The NRL grand final run. Wairia Hargreaves. Good defence on him. Chris Hill with that tackle. Here comes Tui Barsashek up from fullback. You're going to have to watch him. Tui Barsashek play the ball as the Kiddies finish their first set. And it is on the kick from Benji Marshall. This is Johnny Lomax bringing it back to the 20. Good set of six from the Kiwis. Cody Nakarima just straight off the plane last night. That's his first interaction with the Kiwi side. Didn't even get a captain's run in. Tinji Marshall finds some space with the kick. This is Ryan Hall off the wing. Just six games for the Roosters this season. McGilvray, the other winger, one of the stars of the 2017 World Cup. He averaged over 200 metres per game. He's an absolute star. This is Burgess. Strange to see only one Burgess in the Great Britain side, but that's how it is at the moment. Hodgson rolls away, Hill almost. Almost drops, drops it, Chris ball. Hill. Big pack, aren't they? Boom. Hill, Graham, Burgess. And a very experienced pack too. Hardly a change since the 2017 World Cup in their lineup. Now that's Jermaine Asako looking into the sun to catch that one too. Varsashek and a good chase from Bateman. You'd expect nothing less. Yeah, the kick was from Jackson Hastings on the left edge. Wasn't high, really. This is Ken Mamalo, a hit and a spin. Gets to his feet quickly. He's a good player of the ball. Good block stand at dummy half. Fine game in the centres last week. Those two are going to have a good battle, though. Zach Hardacre tackled him there, and he was he's a very experienced player. Playing mainly at fullback this season for Wigan in Super League. Nakarima. It's tough, and he's shifting it on to Wairia Hargreaves. Something we didn't see a lot of last week was little tip-ons like that to assist them to play the ball. We didn't really see that from either team in their losses to Australia and Tonga. Lomax comes forward again for the League Lions, and he's tackled on his 20. It's a good chase, good defence coming in for and Tapani in the Cora. Lomax played all three tests on last year's tour to England at fullback, and he was a target for the Kiwis, picking them up and driving them backwards. That's what the ask was. Square. Wait, wait, Joseph. Thrown onto his back, Go, which means a slow play the ball. Joseph, quick in the rock. Falling up there, making a strong tackle. Movement, the chase from wait, Kenny Joseph. Bromwich as well. Wait, no. McGilvray. Go, three, on that right wing side again. James Graham runs it. Look at him, one of the smallest players on the field. Hard to be the smallest. He's up wait. for the challenge as Graham plays it. Just inside his 40. Burgess. Gareth Wood it with the kick. Now Ken Malmalo. Another solid game from him against Australia last week, and the Kiwis want him to repeat that here. It's a pretty simple start from Great Britain, isn't it? The kick from Hastings on the left, and now a kick from Wood up on the right. Malmalo one take. This is two of us, Shek. Back across the grain, looking for space. No stoppages in the game yet. And we're approaching the four-minute mark. Manu gets a, a, a touch in the first four minutes. Interesting to see if the team really trying to become a bit more adventurous with the ball. They'll need to be if they want to seize control of this game. It's a good run from Kenny Bromwich. That, Great Britain line speed on that right side, just a little sluggish on that occasion. Marshall's kick on the last, and it goes to Lomax again. Plenty of touches for him early in this match, and that's a good chase from Forum. It's a good kick from Benji Marshall as well, five metres out from the try line. This is exactly where that needs to land. Did you mention an arm wrestle? <laughs> yeah, it's a chess match with a rugby league ball at the moment. We've got a team 
That's black and a team that's white. That's Jess, isn't it? <laughs> Racing to dummy half. Both teams just trying to set the standard. Wait for the first error. Apply some pressure. Just played in the middle of the field. Graham, show and go out the back. Gets through the first contact of Tarpane. Shifted either. This is tackled on the halfway, and they haven't got to the halfway on that set. They have Great Britain. There goes Whittip's kick. Kieran Foran's in trouble too. Maybe a shoulder or a dislocated finger. The trainer's got to him. Keep an eye on that one. That would be devastating for Foran. Oh, he looks in some discomfort, it must be said. Oh, gee whiz. His first contact with his was his shoulder. And it looks like it's transferred like right this thing up. All right, we'll uh, just keep an eye on that one. The first penalty comes. Foran, he only played 14 games this season for the Bulldogs. He has one tough rooster, Kieran Foran. He went in low on the tackle of James Graham. Make sure we're quick in the rock. Graham gets through the first initial contact, and here he comes in late. Let's have a look. And in he goes there. And Dr. Lama, give me your report. <laughs> Uh, my report at the moment is not good for Kieran Foran. Can't give you any specifics at the moment. Oh, boy, it looks like he might have dislocated it, is the word we're getting from the sideline. Is that uh, what you're hearing at the moment, Richie? I'll make some investigations, my friend. Thanks, mate. But certainly, it's not favourable. He looks in real discomfort. Well, on the bench, Jerome Hughes is there. A lot of time for the Melbourne Storm in the halves this season, and very good too. Yeah, so New Zealand do have an able backup there on the bench. Yeah. What a wretched run he's had with injuries over the last few years, Daryl. And here he is in the sixth minute. Can you believe? First test back in the Kiwis for two and a half years, and that might be his day. That is amazing, isn't it? I mean, there didn't seem to be a lot of actual. Effort, would you say, in the contact? It was just the placement of the arm. Perhaps it's happened initially in the bump off from James Graham. So you're right, the reshuffle. Jerome Hughes started the year at fullback for the Melbourne Storm. And then I think it was about round 12 or 13, he was promoted into the halves at the expense of Brody Croft. Not bad, he played six games in the halves for the Storm this season. Out of his 24. So you're pretty good, Daryl. Hargraves. Now the effort on the outside was there from Tedavano with the offload. Nikarima. Tedavano again. Very strong off the bench last week. Had a good game, didn't he? And I think he thoroughly deserves an opportunity to start. Joseph Tarpani. Good to see him back as well. He was a real nemesis for opposition defences in the NRL this year, and he's earned his team a penalty there. And this one's in a kick uh, position. For sure. There's some real threat there on the right edge for the Kiwis, isn't there? If you start in the middle with Joseph Tarpin, and then you shift onto the speed of Britton Nakora, followed by Joey Manu in the centre position, there's some real athletic ability there. Jermaine Asako is going to be the goal kicker in this game. Actually, might have uh, said he was a little surprising not to see him goal kicking last week too, Daryl. Yeah, had a good year this year with the Broncos. Sean Johnson. Had a mixed year, you would suggest, with the Cronulla Sharks. Jermaine gets his opportunity here. Yeah, he kicked he the ability last year of Sean Johnson with the boot on tour. He kicked 14 from 15 in three tests. Gave him the job. Sean Johnson today, Let's see how he goes with his first. And no problem, into a little bit of a breeze. Goal kicking can be a little bit of a challenge here at Eden Park. It's been a nemesis for many. Not, not you, not though, Darryl. Not you either. We all have our problems, Glenn. <laughs> yes, but goal kicking wasn't one of yours. Asako kicked at 79% this season in the NRL, and it's the Kiwis on the board 2 to nil after eight minutes. Penalty's going against Britain, the Great Britain team. It's really been the only difference between these two sides at the moment. Both teams have completed at 100%. Wait here. Go on. 
rock the selection of Tedavano to start at the expense of Lisa Nelmao. Lisa's really good off the bench to keep the momentum of the game flowing. Tarpanet. Again, solid contact. We missed last week. Courtesy of a suspension from the grand final. It's good to have him back in the Kiwis jumper. Warrior Hargreaves looking for a bit of a more dominant run. Hodgson up for the task. Six carries already for Jarrett. It's Titavano again. Good defence by Great Britain. They've limited the Kiwis to just 39 metres in the first five tackles of their set. Good defensive play there. Oh, the bounce a little bit dodgy there for Ryan Hall. But back he comes, the big ex-Leeds player. It wasn't really a classic kick from Benji Marshall. Doesn't get it off the boot right. The strike not quite there. The ability to find a bit of space with Ryan Hall. Now penalty. These guys are here. Is that a square up? Jackson Maxler. Hastings with the touch finder. Two penalties to one. Tom Burgess. Solid over the top of Hargroves. He would have enjoyed that one. So to tarpen it as well. James Graham to the line. Running at Nikarima to Kenny Bromwich there to give his Kiwi's teammate a hand. Slow play the ball too, isn't it? Hodgson away. Hodgson. Looking to put Burgess into space. This is looking better from Great Britain's point of view. Good field position here. Word it to the line. Short pass. Might have been touched forward, but it's play on. And that's Bateman. Inside the 10. Hodgson. Back to Burgess again. Settle it down for the last play. Good post contact meters from him. And now, Britain. Best field position for them in the game. There's a Bateman going for the line, and they're going to soak him up, and that will be a handover. Well, that's disappointing from Great Britain. A little bit disappointing. They don't actually mind attacking on the last and giving the opposition the ball two metres out from the own line. It's actually better than kicking in goal, maybe it's going dead and offering a seven-tackle set from the 20. On that occasion, they just isolated Jerome Hughes, who was just back on the field defending in the position where Kieran Foran would have been, and they just wanted Bateman to have a crack at him. Did his job, Hughes. So these are important metres for the Kiwis to Ibasa Shek. Move, Zach, but we're there, here. Hold. Go to. Back with that shift around in the half. Sorry, Glenn, as we see Jermaine Sako come Surrender. out of trouble. Jerome Hughes spent all Tuesday in bed. There was a little bit of a virus going around, so he's only really got himself back for the captain's run this week, so not really sure how many, many minutes he'll Move, play for. Well, that will pose some issues around the halves area for the Kiwis later in the game. We'll see... Keep an eye on that one, is how Wairia Hargreaves. Kiwi's moving it off their line pretty well here. And there's good front foot running ball for a kick from Benji Marshall. But Ryan Hall back in good position, no problem with this one. Benji goes back with a big lad, isn't he, Ryan Hall? Nice fend on Benji Marshall, but he comes again. Get some help from Britton Nakora. This is Lomax. Nice. He's a, step. He's a very good runner, Johnny Lomax. St. Helens player. That was Whitehead. Move on. Wait here. Go free. On the mark, Elias. McGilvray. Got an update on Kieran Foran. Let's go back to Richie. Richie. Yes, Kieran Foran. He's got dislocated shoulder. He's been slow on the line down, trying to wiggle it back in, but it's taken some time, and it's unlikely that he'll be back on. Move so unfortunate for the Kiwis. Hastings just not even six minutes. It's Hastings. Yeah, that's a good change. Of a kick and a nicely gathered there by Osako. Good hands. Yeah, it was an interesting kick, wasn't it? Hastings positions himself on the right and kicks back across the ruck with a grubber kick. Good pick up from Osako. This is Joey Manu now getting the better of field position. Great Britain. This feels like this Great Britain defence getting a bit more sting in it. Both teams have only missed two tackles so far. Wait, go three. But again, not a lot of adventure with the ball from either team so far, Daryl. We've seen no spread of the ball on the fourth tackle, the fifth tackle, for instance, yet. 
Yep, both teams are under certain instructions from their coaches that offloads don't win test matches, completions do. Jared, give time! Marshall again, he continues to plug Ryan Hall, McGilvray. Hasn't had a kick receive on his side of the field yet. He's keen for some action now, Jermaine McGilvray, and here he is in action. He's going nowhere. Tartami doesn't miss many, does he? He loves a little run behind the ruck. This is McGilvray. That's his go-to zone. If he can just break him beside a lazy defender, this is Zach Hardacre. Huddersfield Giants originally, Man of Steel 2015. Yeah, of course, spent some time at the Penrith Panthers in 2018 as well as Hill. Hits the line, the front rower. Good impact off the bench coming too from Great Britain with Kerry Wormsley, or rather with uh, Alex Wormsley. Here comes Lomax, McGillray. Good work from Charles from Cole Plockstead. Foreign position, foreign centre. Read that well. Let's play now for Great Britain. It's Hodgson. Bateman. Oh, that, again, the last tackle play there. Was that come forward off a Kiwi's player? It has. It's a good touch off the hands of Jerome Hughes here before Chance and Cole Clockstead dives on it. So more football for the Great Britain Lions. Let's have a look. They go there once and then they shift and come back again with Hodgson. The target's Bateman. And there, does he pass it into. Jerome Hughes, or do they knock it out? Well, he's passed that. He's come off the forearm. He didn't play it at Jerome Hughes. Yeah, but as soon as he's going around in that motion, he's played it. up. That's the interpretation, Jared. OK, well, boys, but it's down. interesting to hear Jared Wairia Hargreaves is just, Make sure you don't just asking a quiet question there about whether effort. Jerome Hughes yeah. played at the ball there. But Pat down, lads. Referee Chris Stay Kendall, fairly right. clear in his explanation. Heads in, Josh. He did think he played at the ball. So. Ball in. It's going to be Britain's possession, and it's going to be Britain in very good field position. One. Tom Burgess Move. at 5 8. You love Jordan. that run. Jared. Hold. Hold. Go on. Hodgson. A little bit more intensity coming in this running game now from Great Britain. We'll have to get the first try of this game. Remember, a suckle. He's the only score in the game so far, and now what will Great Britain do here? Hands in to uh, go for the two and they have two. Gareth Whittock no hesitation from him so here Elliot Whitehead with plenty of fight in the play the ball he dominates this tackle with his own physicality two defenders only just hanging on the Kiwis are and give away the penalty so Whittock's up this kick here with Great Britain. Such a gifted kicker as Gareth Woodup. Can actually kick off both feet. Ambidextrous. Possibly the best I've seen. Had this challenge with his right foot. So Woodup will level the scores up. After 17 minutes, two points all here at Eden Park. Don't forget we have the third game coming in our triple header later today. It's Tonga, and already plenty of their supporters here for this uh, for this clash against Australia. Just be aware, when you're in possession, step into the Plenty side with belief, that too, that they can topple Australia. Stay behind! That would be epic if it could happen. Right now, the Kiwis. Two more. You have to say, in these first 70 minutes, it's been a fairly quiet game. Oh! Almost knocked on there by Hardacre, but no. he got a hand to it. He went backwards. It's such a hard surface. If you get a bounce, you just got no idea where it's going to go. It's a shot from Jared. He's out of the line on Hill. Tackle number 15 for him, and that was his best so far. Nikolimi. It's just getting hammered by James Graham. Bateman runs it to Rome Hughes. Bateman, of course, played in the centres for England in the World Cup semi against Tonga two years ago. Now we've got a shift of the ball, which is good. Whitehead has it. A carry from Elliot Whitehead. Tarpany going head-to-head -head here. Two camera teammates would have. Again, that's straight down the throat of Malmala, who's looking into the sun. Malmala 
handles it nicely. So much more comfortable under the high ball now, doesn't he, Ken Mamalo? He's had his challenges with it. He's composed. It's a great game last week. It's a couple of errors late. Very good. Next week from him, and Nickel Clock's there as well, handled the set position pretty well. His first major game in that position. Maria Hargreaves, another strong game from him so far in these first 19 minutes. Look at him, no sniping from him at dummy half. Now here's a run on the fifth tackle. To Ivasashek to Joseph Manu. Manu, is he going to stay in the field of play? He has just. Jermaine Asako. Helping his teammate out there. There's the crossfield kick. Little clocks there, Mamalo, McGillray's done brilliantly. Not the tallest winger you'll see, Jermaine McGillray, but he got it. Couldn't quite get a clean grasp of it at Kent. Towers above McGillray. McGillray, well done. Kent nearly ripping it off. It was a good set of six. So he ended up right down the right edge with Manu. Great Britain in for a bit of work. Well, the Kiwis are love to force an error here. The league lines so far have been error-free. In this game, Wormsley smashed by Wairia Hargreaves. Yeah, first change of the match as well. Ooh, he's a bit sluggish to get Britain. up to. There's big Alex Wormsley. Oh, he has earned the penalty. Give the penalty straight away. So why do you wait? It's a flop from Hargreaves. It's a crusher. It's a crusher. Time is off. Decides he wants to be ref as well. Let's have a look. In they go. Bang. Good contact from Marshall. He's fallen. And then when Jared comes over the top, this is what rugby James. league's all about, isn't it? James. Shifting momentum. The first thing's a flop, then the rest get better. And then Jared comes in to wrap up the football. He's ruled out a flop. Is that what the penalty's for, Daryl? Richie, you got any ideas? He's so late. Yeah, it looked like it was a little bit of a flop, but <laughs> I think he Jared, may have milked that. But I tell you what, the right side, I think, just saw Benji come on to that ball. I think he'll ignite that right, right edge there, Benji. Move. The ability to play close into the line and, and provide that space and time for Joseph Munner. Well, nothing in this match in this first quarter of the game. Stats very even. Right across the board. Just a one offload in the game so far. Isn't that interesting? After 20 minutes, just one offload. Here's Wormsley again. He was very good for England in the World Cup two years ago, and he's had a fractured neck since then as well. He's missed a lot of rugby league. Good to have him back here in New Zealand now. Bateman asking some questions of this Kiwis defence. Britain warming into their work nicely here. Here they go sprinting to Hastings. Good tackle from Britain, the core up. Stopped anything building. But this has been a good set of six so far from Great Britain. Would it? Oh, nicely gathered there by Jerome Hughes. Good scramble, D. Seemed to be plenty of space on the outside. As Gareth Woodup will oh, have that kick back again. Hughes in the right spot. Just stuck in it. Really good work from him. Almao onto the field. Lisson. Line speed just a touch. Suspect from Britain that time, and Nicole Klockstad. There he goes, Osako. He's need a bit of spark. He's going to provide it. He goes to kick. It's going straight down to Johnny Lomax. And here comes Lomax. Debuted against France back in 2016 for England. McGilvray. Maria Hardry's putting on a good stint. He's foreign. Remember, dislocated shoulder. Hopefully it's back in. He's looking a little bit more comfortable now. Go out there for Great Britain. It's Josh Jones. And the Salford Red Devils. And all the way to the Super League final this year. Salford. Here's Lomax. McGillray in space. It's better from Britain that time. To see some backline play. They made 30 metres on that play and one of the better sets of six we've seen in the match so far is Hardacre. 
Slotson to dummy half. Widdop trying to find some space behind the line. He's threaded the gap between the Sako and Tuvasa Shek. And Jermaine Sako. That's great play from Great Britain, but Roger Tuvasa Shek has it. And the Kiwis have a penalty too. Great play from Roger Tuivasa Shek. Enough of this is an offload here from Jermaine Asako. As the Great Britain side picks him up and drives him back into the in goal area. Have a look and see how the ball comes yeah, right, out. Jermaine struggling to get to the ground and then one, two, three, four. Well, he just rips it off him. That's a strip. It's a one on one <laughs> strip by your own teammate. Nice transfer. And then across the top comes Jake Connor. Too high. Roger the Dodger. Uh, congratulations to Adam Blair. It's all official now. He's out there and he's in his 50th test for New Zealand. And Armau, his Warriors teammate. Tough period for the Kiwis here to dig in. Great Britain getting the better of them just at this stage. Bromwich. Oh, he's lost it. And there is an error, and that will be the first incomplete set in the game. And had it after 24 minutes. Thought process about possibly this man, Kenny Bromwich, playing hooker at the expense of Brandon Smith. It's a week involved for the Kiwis. He's left on the left edge. He's going for the ball at the back. Turning away on there with back down, Alex boys, Wormsley in there. He's a big lump of lad, isn't he? Got a really good hit and twist. Gets through the first couple of defenders. It's a quick play. The ball. It's a fantastic player. Deal to bring off the bench. Lomax. He's going to have to watch him. He's got some elusive skills in those legs. Wormsley. He's had no field position in the last ten minutes at all. Playing their game in their own heart, pretty much. 61% of the time they've been in their own half in this first 25 minutes. Hodgson, it's a nice show and a move to the left. I like that play. Hodgson at his best. Adam Blair. Slows it again down for the Kiwis. Now the two 17s. Good tackle from Blair on Wormsley. Last play now for Great Britain. Win it. Lomax lovely has McGoubray. No room for the air and the two Kiwis there. Wrap them up pretty comfortably as it turned out. Well, they apply pressure here. Not too much time and space for the execution for Great Britain. And they come up well. The good defensive read. Mamalo comes in. And then he's got numbers with Nick, Nicole Klockstad coming across the back. Out of they transition. This is tackle two. Kiwis have been playing a lot out of their own half, haven't they, Richie? No real chance for them to do something special. No, Great Britain keeping it very simple but yet effective. The Kiwis just got to roll their sleeves up. There's not much variation to their play, but they've just got to play percentage football and get to the kick. It's been rule to go backwards. Yeah, bit of a lucky break there. That's gone forward off Manu on to that British player, and that will be British possession at a scrum. So now that is back-to-back -back heroes for the Kiwis. I thought that one went back. Well, Wayne Bennett was giving his interviews before the game. He was talking about building pressure. He's a happy camper at the moment. Michael Maguire, not so. so this is the attack to the right of Johnny Lomax. He's put under so much pressure by Kim Amalo. And then see the numbers coming across. Lisa Almalo drops it out the back from here. Benji shifts it. Joey Manu is it? Or Britton McCora, should I say. Give a no-look pass to Joey Manu. Good one. the opportunity for Britain to come forward again in the Kiwis' half. Wait. Go on, chuck it in. Just a couple of penalties in the game to Asako and to Gareth Widdop. Stone! All movement on the bench. James Graham, the captain, off. Here comes Joe Philbin. From the Warrington Wolves, the Challenge, Challenge Cup winners this year. Wait, go Jones is playing the ball. Here comes Wormsley again. Tuivasa Shek, he's going to make a tackle. Cora finishes him off. 
Hodgson, there's room on the left here. That's good play, Lomax getting close to the line. Appeals for a high tackle there. Go unanswered by referee Chris Kendall. Last play, Hastings to Woodham. Woodham looking for some space, but again, the Kiwis have defended those kicks very well in this match so far. Just as Tomo did last wait, week. Wait. These are the players that Wayne Bennett was alluding to. Not quite getting the last play options with the kicking game right. It's two in the last four sets of six down here for Gareth Woodham. He didn't come up with a play. Tackling being done by both teams. Graham sits down with 20 tackles already. Hodgson's made 19. Nakarima haven't seen him run from dummy half yet. Maria Hargreaves, 23 tackles, 9 carries, 60 metres. That's a good stint. There he is again. He's had some supports as well. I wonder how Nakarima's legs will go to be. Will be late in this game, having been in Queenstown all week. There's Lomax, plenty of green pasture in front of him, but great tackle there from Britton Nakora. Britton, first time in quite some time we've seen them bring it out from their own end of the field. But they've been error free so far. Here's the other centre, Jake Connor. Haven't seen too much of him so far from. Bull. Here comes McGilvray. Let's play the ball. Great Britain rolling forward nicely here. His Philbin getting stuck in. The Irish international. It so works so well, doesn't he, Hodge? Beautifully done again. Gives Hastings so much time to put the kick in, but again, fairly comfortably taken. Oh, it's gone backwards. Kiwi's a bit lucky there as Manu picks up the loose ball. Manu now busts a couple of tackles. Jumana Sarko's back down. Come out real awkwardly there. Let's keep an eye on him. It's OK. He certainly doesn't look like he's in any real strife like Kieran Foran was, who has been scrubbed from the game with that dislocated shoulder. To Ivasa Shek. Here comes Wairia Hargreaves on Wormsley. Move Josh here. Jackson! Some tackles left in the set. Here's a kick on the fifth tackle from Hughes. Chance for Malmalo to chase one. Malmalo up there on McGilvray. Seems like an agents have had them pinned down here. Let's see if they can stop one or two tackles. This is Lomax. Do they hold him up and pick him backwards? Move square, Jared. Wait. This game is itching for someone to break something. Right, Richie? Tell you what. It's different. Yeah, I'm just watching Falls just, just now. And you know, he's still in this real distant company, won't be coming off the shore, but certainly with what the, the defensive qualities from Great Britain is fantastic, particularly against our back three. The two of us are Sheik and Mamalo, they're doing an extremely good job just to nullify their yards. Yeah, two of us are hasn't had much space. Still run for 71 metres, though. It's inside the 40, but he's not going for a 40-20 there. He's with it. Mamalo. Marmalo hits the line nice and hard that time. Sets in sights, charges straight at the defensive line. 30 minutes of football, no offloads for Great Britain. A breeze behind them, maybe their second half tactics will be different. Here's an offload, a late one as well. To Ivasashek. Now starting to find some field position, the Kiwis. He pitched a good 15 there from that offload. And Nikarima from dummy half. Here comes Armao. He's making good metres on this set so far. Maria Hargreaves handles. And it comes into the backs. Nakora wants to link up with Joseph Manu. Opportunity for him to get that big arm going. He needed to get that ball earlier, didn't he, Joseph Manu? Yeah, get him running in some space. Adam Blair. Blair's lost it. Surely that's going to be a loose carry, it isn't. Oh, no, late call has come there from Chris Kendall, the referee. He's got that from a touch, for sure. It's lost backwards initially from Adam, and then you've Let's have a look. That's the call. Adam Blair goes into some pretty heavy contact, backs in like he does, and then drives the offload, which comes out no problem. And here he's ruled that Cody's knocked on. Please. Thanks, mate. Okay, good brain. Keep working out on the tens, Alex. 
Leeson, good, Leeson, good on the 10. Keep working hard. Yeah, I'll watch it. Yeah, I'll watch it. Well, we've had no okay, repeat sets generated, no line dropouts, no real try scoring opportunities at all in this first half. Okay, Jackson, ball, Been very conservative play from both teams. Hold! Release Adam! Hold! Hold! Go on. Gilvay plays the ball and the referee's going to award a penalty for offside play. Might just give the impetus for Great Britain late Come in this on, guys, first half. Side. But we get Durham. As they'll Chance. move right into Kiwi's territory again. Nope. At the end of the set. There's Chris Hill back out there now for a second stint. Jared! Wait, Cody! Wait! So Go another on. Warrington player. Fimbins hitting the line nice and hard again. It's a good run. Good pace. Good energy. 24 year old. Away goes Hodgson, gets his team on the front foot nicely. Hastings, good pass, it's been lost by Whitehead. Now, what can Manu make of this? Not much. Held! Really zero. So that'll be the first error that Great Britain have come up with. Sarko gets himself back into the action. They seem to have good attacking shape, don't they? Can't quite crack the Kiwi defence as of yet. A good sign. Nice oh, play. lovely Nikarima. ball from Nikarima. Here's to Ivasa Shek. Oh, he's just a magician. Would you like to track that run? <laughs> no thanks. Waria Harkreis in the complete opposite running style. Just one way. Um, now pretty much the same, although he does have some footwork too. A pass from Nikarima to give to Ivasashek some space. Marshall to Blair. Does hold the ball for the last play, and now Marshall runs onto that beautifully. Here comes Nakora. Good ad lib football here from the Kiwis. Hori Harawera Naira. He will be tackled with the ball and be turned over. This is the footwork of Roger Tuivasa Shek. His seventh run for the day. Carts him up towards nearly 90 metres. So dangerous. How many defenders he engages in that run? Well, I always think our camera operator who's at ground level needs a gold medal to actually keep up with to Ivasa Shek. Kevin Proctor, part of the Kiwi setup, of course, not required in this game here today. A tackle coming in there from Hill. Got a good line speed also. Harawera Naira. Philbin this time, Harawera Naira looking to make up that uh, mistake with. On the last play, last time the Kiwis had possession. A couple of tackles from Corey Harawera Naira. There is Hill. Oh, he's just passed it straight to a black jumper. And that's Nakora. Oh, that was a complete communication breakdown. So a couple of errors creeping into Britain's game late in this first half. New Zealand really bunched in the middle of the football field here. Where's their structure? I know they lost a half in foreign. So Jerome Hughes step up to the plate to play some football with Benji Marshall here. Blair. Marshall, nice to the line. Hughes, this is looking better too, Barsashek. Plenty of British players over there. Offload, and a good one it was too. Nickel Klockstad. Malo at dummy half. Long pass to Hughes, now to Marshall. Maria Hargreaves will settle it down for the last play. And we look for the offload, that's a lovely play, Blair. Tier try, right on half-time would be golden for the Kiwis here. Hughes, fast hands to Manu, to his Kiwis teammate, and Hall has it. Right Hall won't have the pace. Gee, if that was Josh Addo Carr, I think it might have been a try at the other end of the field. How many people were holding their breath? <laughs> Where was the cavalry coming from? It's Joey Manu, a lovely bus back through the middle here. Offloads to Jerome Hughes in this pass here. Oh my goodness, away they go. And then here, late, let's have a look at it. 
Williams go through Joey again. Finally, go. Ryan Hall. Well, it's actually been ruled a penalty there, Richie. I think it might have been tripped, actually, Ryan Hall there. Possibly. I'll tell you what, it's a pretty reserved style of football, isn't it, from the Kiwis? When they start off floating, they look more menacing. It's pretty about the last pass, but certainly more enterprising when they offload and create the second phase. It's Jones. The run from Josh Jones here. Movement! Can't wait! Moving from Salford to Hull next season. That's a beautiful pass, wasn't it? From Hodgson, but that tackle was an absolute ripper from Adam Blair on Joe Philbin. That's what you want from your veteran 50 test player. Win it! And checks himself nicely into the line. And now the last play. Big, big play here in the context of this first half. All Hardacre one on one with Nickel Clockstead. To Ivasa Sheck. Well, it was a slight opportunity there for Hardacre. Look for an offload, but he didn't have a support runner. Didn't really have any pace or attack the line. It was just standing still. Made it a really easy defensive opportunity for Nicole Clockstead. Ken Malalo bites back in behind. Goes to his front. New Zealand will be keen to get to the sheds at two all. Just 30 seconds to go. Deadly's coming inside the first quarter. He's going to win a nighter. Move Jackson back! Nikarima. Blair, who's actually made some good impact off the bench. Benji Marshall to Manu. Manu! Manu! Marshall! The Sako there! It's picked up superbly by Joseph Manu. What a pickup! And he's lost a ball, and it won't be a penalty to the Kiwis. It's going to be ruled a loose carry. Oh, what about the skill of Joseph Manu? We thought they might have called it quits. He has got a penalty here, has he? Or has he called half time? He's walking away from the area where he was. So it will be half time. This is the bust here, the one on one fin. Just beautiful work. And then a lovely bit of skill and a pick up here. Benji Marshall would have scored seven years ago here. Hastings chased him. And then that pick up there. Superb. And what happens here? A clean loss. Well, here it is, half time, an exciting end of the first half, but it's the end of the stalemate, it's two all. <laughs> New Zealand playing with the wind in the second half of this international two all. Surrender! This will be a very interesting first five or ten minutes in this second half. Either of these teams can track, crack the defence, or the other could be the decisive play in this match. It's Chris Hill. Heads up towards his own 30. Experienced player who's playing his 31st test right here. Takes it forward. Hold. Hodgson. It's Philbin. Still runs hard at the line, doesn't he? He's got smashed a couple of times, but he doesn't care. Good body shape, isn't he? Absolutely. He's the kick from Jackson Hastings. Sako. It's a not bad kick there from Hastings. The chase, though. And uh, Sako to run a little bit further, perhaps. Kind of expected. Needles are reasonably hard to come by. As Kim Amalo comes charging back up through the middle. Last week the Kiwis only managed 45 metres per set of six here. This is a better start. This is three and Roger comes back and started on the 30. There's 35 already. Nakarima, four pass that time. Picked up. Blair has lost it. In fact, it's going to be a knock on. Uh, that's disappointing on the just the third tackle. The disappointing thing here is with the lack of halves. No Kieran Foran to partner Benji Marshall. Where was the half in this play? This is the end of it. It skips across field and Adam Blair can't tidy up. After a good run or good three to play the balls, there was no half in position to set the attacking structure. It's a good ball too. Okay, Josh. 
Leeson head in. Let's go, John. Well, it's just the right. error that Three Britain we're looking for early Back in this down. second half. I'll tell you when. Head in. Stay close, Benja. Head in. Kevin Mind you, Kieran Foran out of the game with a dislocated shoulder. Out! Again, Bray. That's the best tackle. Jerome Hughes wearing 14, coming on in the sixth minute. Play in the halves. Chris Hill hit nice and hard by several Kiwi players. Hold, Jared! Hold! Well, as workmanlike as ever in the front row for Great Britain in this game as Bateman asks questions again of this Kiwi's defence. Surrender. In fact, that's been a net loss that Stand time. Adam. That Wait. tackle. Wait. Go that in some times as Hodgson looks to make up for it, and he comes Lomax. Move to room. Joseph. Go for it. Hardacre. Hill again. Second carry for him. In the set. Last. And now it's Move the last Adam. tackle. Draw back. Hold, hold. hold. Go last. This tackle kicking hasn't been great so far from Britain. They keep it in hand this time. Fast hands were required. Hardacre, is he going to die with the ball? He is. Again, they're really keen to go to the right edge of Great Britain, which is the left of the Kiwis, obviously. Jerome Hughes and Cody Nakarima defending together, along with Chance Nicole Klobstedt. They are all not left edge players. They're doing a good job. Hardacre putting his show a bit more aggression on his running lines and his last play options. Yes, maybe that is the attacking play there from Britain. We're going to attack some players on that left edge for the Kiwis, but they're all going OK. Here's Waria Hargreaves again. Does he play a straight 10 here before he gets a breather? Second half. Come back for maybe the last 15, 20 minutes. We'll see as Nakora comes back on that cutback run. So we've asked Shek hovering around the ruck. That's good work, isn't it? Set play back against the grain. Roger. Just get to Supporting. And Blair. Last tackle for the Kiwis. Nakarima is in position. And that's an ugly kick. It's got an awful bounce. It's good pressure on him from Chris Hill, would you believe? Benji Marshall. So important the kicking game here for the Kiwis. He is our only kicker on the field now. Benji Marshall. So everything will revolve around him and last play options. Zero. Let's have a look at uh, Richie. What do you think the Kiwis need to be focusing on in the early stages of the second half? Well, patience one. There's a seven to two errors, which is a real concern for the, for the Kiwis. And the territory, they were starved in the first half. They had 10% less. And when they're in good ball, they've had opportunities for Benji to really just strike on their right edge. But those are the key errors, discipline certainly. I love the energy from Philbin off the bench. Oh, I like his aggression. He's straight at it, isn't he? Straight into the teeth of Blair and Hargraves. Play for Ireland at the World Cup. Will Bateman. He's been able to hold it eventually. He's been quiet. That one around the chops there, it seems, to Philbin. Passes the ball this time. Now this is looking better for Great Britain. Hastings has his hands back off Whitehead. Now Lomax sniffing around the ruck. He's happy to let Widdham run at them. Hardacre. Now oh, will be tackled on the Kiwis 20 metre line on the last play. Hodgson. Again, the British team keep it on that left edge. And Tuivasa back in position. Tuivasa Shek. Moving difficult to tackle as always. Again, they show one side of the ruck and then attack down the other. Nice and direct here from Corey Hadawira Naira. It's now Malo running with a bit more of urgency now. Move, a good Zach six, seven Adeker. steps in before he hit the defensive line there, Ken. It was more space being afforded Joe. to both sides here in the second half. It's an offload from Wairia Hargreaves. Nakarima. Now Hughes runs. Michael Clockstad. Nice net gain from the Kiwis on that play. From the offload originally from Wairia Hargreaves. Now Blair. Move, Cruz! He's again Josh. on the fifth tackle. And that's the last. Kings will chase this one through off Marshall's kick. Ryan Hall, up he goes, and he's taken it nicely. Ryan Hall's very, very good under the high ball. The object here is to contest 
Once these high balls go up and you've got the breeze at your back, it is so important to contest them. Get a hand up, knock it backwards. Don't let the opposition come up with a clean catch. Here's McGilvery. McGilvery. Now Benji Marshall's got a little bit of a hobble about him. So we'll keep an eye on him. White hit. Points for a penalty. Thought he was hit high again. As Jones heads over the 40. So looks like he's running the issue he has off at the moment. Looks okay for the meantime as well. It's the last play. Tuivasa-Shek will have acres. Hectares of pasture here. In fact, the sucker is going to take the return. It's a good run too from Jermaine. And you believe he may play fullback next year at the Brisbane Broncos. He's getting Mamalo. Well, they're just on that. There's a bit of a, a whisper that could Jordan Kahu might end. Back up at the Broncos, the former Kiwis international. Back down from the Cowboys. Keep an eye on that one. Josh Jones, wait for the goal. Tuvasa Shek up. Here he goes, Roger. One to beat. Oh, the offload was absolutely brilliant. Jermaine Asako with the try. And what a ripper. Roger Tuvasa Shek take a bow. Special. He's been creating havoc all through the middle here this afternoon. 140 metres already. And then he finds some space down the right. And this is the edge that's owned by Joey Manu. They stand off him. And here, one on one with Lomax. Lomax does a really good job. I thought Jermaine Asako could have got to him a little earlier. He sort of missed the beat. But the tackle of Lomax. Gives Roger Tuivasa the chance to flick it out the back. And wow. Misako. What a brilliant try from the Kiwis. And that could be decisive, Richie Barnett. Absolutely decisive. Alex Wormsley wasn't the opposing defender you want from a great British point of view. But Roger Tuivasa Shek has just been dominant right throughout this whole match. He's edged his way through a number of occasions, and Osaka was the recipient of some great footwork from this man. I don't know how he got that ball out. I thought he was going to draw and pass, having that peripheral vision of his, but he does that all the time. The ability just to flick that pass at the right moment. Incredible play. His first try for New Zealand, Jermaine Osaka, in his fourth game. Kicked here yesterday afternoon in a really heavy breeze and goes across the face of goal with that one. The, the wind didn't help him to convert that his main drive. Be important that kick, Glenn, in a low scoring match. One more look at it. It was just classic Roger to advance a shift, but that there, boy, that takes some skill. Certain there wasn't it uh, from Manu. He was setting himself on the sideline, Joey Manu, <laughs> to put a foot on the sideline as a catch the forlorn face. Kieran Foran. Clear, clear the rock. Clear, clear the rock. Clear the rock. Clear the rock. Clear the rock. Not clearing the rock properly. Not clearing the rock. Stay behind. This is just a ticket for the Kiwis, isn't it? They've just scored a try. Now they've got a penalty and a set that's going to start on the halfway. Britain are going to have to grind this one out over the next few minutes. Move Alex here. Hold. Kiwis would love nothing more than back-to-back -back tries. There's Blair. Provided good impact off the bench, you'd have to say, in his 50th test. Nakarima. Jerome Hughes. Now, starting to get a little bit of shape here. Out to the left, Amal dropped off back under. They hit the channel. Tom Burgess and James Graham back out there now. Maria Hargreaves kicking on the fourth tackle. Well, that's Nakora playing football, and that is football a try. Goodness me. Interesting to see what they're looking at here. Hey, yeah, we're going to chuck it, James. 
Uh, Even if it ricochets into three. a Great Britain player, we have a listen. try. Okay. Just make sure there's James. Thank you. Just make sure there's no knock on by New Zealand, please. Okay, too easy. Video ref to director. It was a horrible kick from Benji Marshall. <laughs> Hey, Dean, I'm going to need to go back he to the first clip because I'm going to need to play the inside first it's and then we're touch. going to need to go slow yeah, through there, please, mate. he been hobbling around, so let's have a look okay, at I'm it. I'm going to get it. You pause it on the boot. All right, pause it there. Yep. All right, right side kick chase is onside, so let's follow it through. Okay, the referee, Henry Perinara. OK, I need, to, I need a tighter shot to see if Britain Nakora has touched the ball, please, mate. So maybe six or eight. That'll come from that side. No problem with the gather and the put down. We know okay, that. We'll it's go just nice a slope split here. here, mate. Yeah, this is it here when it goes into the back. We'll go nice and slow here. Yeah. Does he get a hand to it there? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Britain Nakora has knocked the ball on. Okay. Can we go wide, please, Dean? Just so I know where the knock on is. So just a little pinky on there from Britain Nakora. Unfortunately for Michael yep. McGuire. So we'll just follow through from here. Yeah. Okay. Britain the core has knocked the ball on. We have a decision. Bobby, we're going to be going to the board. It is going to be a no try. A scrum 20 metres out. Uh, England ball, mate. A great skill from the core at no the try. end, but it's no try. It was. There's a verbal stoush going on, too. Scrum down, boys. Out there yeah, on the field between James Graham and Roger Tui. Bass and Sheck. Exchanging birthday cards and Christmas cards. A full pace, it looked good, didn't it, Richie? But uh, let's touch here. Sometimes it works for you, those kicks. Particularly those okay, ball in. Benji Marshall's ability to Out. swing that ball around. James Graham is blowing up at the ref. <laughs> <laughs> Funny that. <laughs> yeah. Held! Ruiz Sato! Not a bad option from Benji wait, at the end, wait. was it? Go on. It was a kick on the first tackle. He's paid off. And Tom Burgess survives. Move, Jared! He's the captain. Wait, go oh, this great Britain Leave team, they need to find something. Wormsley, that's a good run. Held! Move, Jared! Come on, come on! Come on! Move, Jared! Second phase play this Great Britain team on attack are they, Daryl? Four offloads and no line breaks. Twelve offloads for the Kiwis now and two line breaks. Nice play now, Graham. Good hands from Hodgson. Alex, give time! See if Britain can regather this one. Catch just a little bit too long, wasn't it? Jermaine Asako up, uncontested. So the trend continues. Hastings was this time with the last play option. This is Joey Manu. The stop start nature of this game works for the interchange of Michael and Maguire, in particular around Jared Wairea Hargraves. Maybe he plays longer. And now a penalty as well. So it was three all on the penalty count earlier in the game. Four, a couple of straight ones to England. Now the Kiwis get on top 6 5. And I think these penalties have come at important times for the Kiwis. We saw that penalty, previous penalty coming off the try, Daryl, and now this one as Britain just started to get a little bit more field position. Now they've lost it again. That was a big kick from Asako. He's peeled off 50 metres with that. 30 of in play. Tarpanir leads to the side of his body. He'll be back out there for the end of the game now. Tetevano won't be far behind him as well. There's Lisa Namar. Move, James! Hold! Go to it. Nakarima at dummy half. Let me pass that time out to Marshall. This is looking better. Nakora hits the line nice and hard off. Move. Hughes' pass. Hold. Pass fade the play. The ball is required now. As Hughes slots into dummy half for that one. That now Marshall. Adam Blair cuts back again. Four. Move, James! Wait. Wait. James Graham in there. Competitor, isn't he? Here comes Marshall. Nice line run by Harawita. No, did he get it down? I think he could have got that down. This is a particularly good take from Corey. Again, we go upstairs. Hates that horse tackle four. We have no try. Just check the grounding, please, mate. Yes. So, grounding is the only issue. 
Just there was plenty a, of support uh, runners here from the everywhere. The Their board attack board was really good. Cody Nakarima couldn't get to the right to play dummy oh, half. So Jerome Hughes steps up to the plate. And as it folds over to the left, he doesn't yeah. get it down there, does he? Yes, he does. That looks like it's down there, mate. Have we, can we go back and have a look? Have we got another angle on that, please, mate? We've got Corey Hudawira Naira. So the voice of Henry Perinara is suggesting oh, that yeah, the ball yeah, is yeah, on go the back, ground. Go back. Can we go back to that? And we're going to pause it on the ground, please, mate. It will be last. Yep. So we're going to go slow here. We're going to go slow, slow, slow. The other, the other side shows it better, mate. So it looks down there. We need to see it on the other side, please, bud. So they'll take their yep. time to get there this we one go right. It's Corey so Hutter Naira grounds the ball in the end goal. We're sending it to the screen for a try, Bobby. Well, there we are. Good news for the Kiwis. A second try in the second half. And it's going to be a debut try for Corey Hutter Naira. Wow. Fantastic work. A great line from Corey Hutter Naira. Oh. The last time he played here for the Bulldogs, he had to get 90 tickets for his family to come to the game. Unfortunately, his dad and his now had to work up north there, and they're not here today. But they'll all be going off and jumping up and down. Don't worry about that. Debut last week. Try scorer this week. Good effort. An Auckland-born player. But Hale's really from the north, doesn't he? This is good determination, Richie Barnett. It certainly is, Glenn. Fantastic work. Good lead drive through. Loves and runs great lines. He's happy. His huck up was superb. Jackson. The match. But he wears his heart on his sleeve. He's from the far north. He just didn't give up the fight, did he? Three Great Britain defenders on top of him. Still found a way. Sako has the easiest kick of the afternoon for him here. No mistake, and now that lead is looking very good for the home team, and it's 12 points to two. I've got to say, Glenn, this crowd is building nicely too. A lot of red and white. Can't spot any green and gold. <laughs> oh, there'll be a few here. Yes, by the time kickoff for the final match here at uh, 7.40, there's been predictions of up to 30,000 being in here at Eden Park for this match, and that would be absolutely superb would be a, a crowd figure that would equal what we got at the semi-final between Tonga and Great Britain two years ago. Nakora. So athletic, isn't he? Britain Nakora, the youngest player in the Kiwi jersey. Just a couple of years younger than Jermaine Asako, 23, he's 21. Inside the 40, and there goes Marshall, quite happy to give it back to Britain. And Johnny Lomax up to the 40. Now, someone needs to spark something here for this British team, Daryl. They have plenty of ball players. Let's see if they can get the play the ball speed. Wow, there's some contact there. Mr. Carpenter says, have a look at my right shoulder. I'm coming. Probably wake up in the middle of the night and see it as well. And he goes right in low ball. there again. Good effort, back to back from Tarpanet. Lifted his defensive and, uh, intensity this year big time. Now a bit more adventure from the league lines. If Bateman can get an offload to McGilvray there, McGilvray might have got a um, way off that sideline. Hardacre at dummy half. Messi play the ball. Slop, uh, stop the momentum. Hastings. He loves to skip to the outside here, Jackson Hastings. That's his favourite run. He's got a right foot on the other side, but to the left he just skips and goes. Werdick likes to measure this kick. Oh, it's gone forward there off Whitehead. He didn't know. He didn't know Kiwi's player back there. I know we've mentioned it before, but these last play options, you've got to really start questioning Great Britain. I mean, the ten, such a talented kicker is Gareth Woodard. On the ten. And on that occasion, a short 10 to 15 metre okay, kick go. without trying to roll it in the end goal area. Right here to James Graham. And that has hurt Jermaine Asako. Been in the walls a little bit here today, hasn't he, Jermaine? 
thought he's run the ball really, really well. He's been aggressive from the back. He's provided, been provided a little bit of space to skip to the inside. Elliot Whitehead. Let's see what sort of contact he comes up with. And a bit of pressure on the neck here. And initial contact. Didn't look to be much in that, did it? No. Just an initial there. A solid contact there. And yeah. he winces, you can see already. And then the body of Elliot Whitehead comes down on top, but doesn't really trap him. It might have just been an initial contact around the head there. Speaking of tickets, Jermaine Osako will need some tickets for next week. Yeah, okay, nice. in yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wait for me, wait. wait for the well, maybe Jermaine should have a chat to Louis Brown, because Louis still got plenty of connections down there. He could probably get half the stadium, and Louis could talk himself into it, couldn't he? This is Hadawet and Ira. Wait, goes, goes. Here's the try scorer. It's only had a word of night up. To Ivasashek. In the corner. They've lifted their game a bit here. Great Britain indeed. Kiwis, oh dear, oh dear, that's a bad, bad miss there from Adam Blair. Yep, this is one you don't want to have on your 50th, Adam Blair. He's been asked to play some pretty big minutes here today, such as the nature of the game, and the nature of the bench. Gets a good look at it. Gets a good look at the opposition. You've got to say, Cody Nicarima has nearly propped up 40 times. I just wonder where the hooker could be a role he might fill in years to come. Oh, yeah. Especially at the Warriors. Here comes Lomit. And pass out to Wood. Good tackle coming in there from Ken Malmola. That's another feature of his play, hasn't it? That's really come up nicely as his defence. He's going to read those plays now. Oh, Wormsley. Alex Wormsley. Graham. This is looking better. Hastings. Graham taken late there. And I think Tate wants got it. He wants a bit of. He can actually be pulled up here if this explodes, which it has. <laughs> Joseph Darpenet ironed out James Graham. Well, Graham's been frustrated basically the whole game. I've forgotten to tell you that it was just a tad late. Let's have a look. Yeah, take him this is it. Him he shapes the pass. He's exposed. Him and that's in oh, slow-mo. Yeah. So even in slow-mo, that's a little bit late. 20, but when you put it in full frame... Down the 20, please. Jackson, just take and then off. he didn't walk away. Time off. Yeah, I've got a penalty on field for the hit on James Brown. Penalty suffice, I would point. say. What's that? He come under a little bit of criticism uh, at Mally. the nines, yeah, Joseph Tarpany, with yep. a couple of his tackling techniques, and he's really okay. spent some time in the two oh, weeks I since. I can't see anything being thrown here, mate. Sorting yeah. it out. Unless you, Bobby, have you got anything different? No. I, I can't see anything different. In my view, it's just pushing and shoving. I'm going to speak to okay. James Graham strongly about running in there. Yep, okay, I'm mate. I'm just going to go over penalty. Yeah. yeah the only issue could be Graham yep, running okay, in Bobby, from so a distance. Okay, Bobby, so you got Joseph Tarpany to react like that. That James, James, James Graham punches. What's that, sorry? Joseph Tarpany and James Graham. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 stop. All right, it's yes, Joe Tarpany. We're just going to we'll just stand and review it. Yep. No, we'll just go with that, mate. Right. You've got Joseph Tarpany and James Graham? Yep. All right, Benji Joseph. So maybe some stern words for Mr Graham and Mr Tarpany. Okay. It's a penalty against you, mate. You need to be very, very careful in the circumstances. Line, yeah, but okay. it's late, the ball okay. is gone. You need to be very, very careful. So right. Yeah, go on, Benji. So as far as long as I've been playing the yeah. game, the guy who's third man yeah. runs no, and it's not third man, Hang Benji. on, hang on. He no, chased it. No, no. He chased it from 15 Benji. minutes away. Have a look. It's a penalty, mate. Yeah, I know. Thank you. James. Well, you make a good lawyer, Benji. He said, now... James, James. Fly down here. Benji. As long as I've been playing. If it was you, it'd be different. Benji. 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 I don't need you now. I don't need you now. Hang on. Back with your team, please. James. QC Barrister, James, Benji. I've blown a Marshall. penalty on field. I don't need you then running in. Be careful about what you're doing, OK? It's a penalty. But James Graham. Well, look, he would make a pretty good lawyer, too. He's been full of chat of the whole game. So after that detailed analysis, we come back to the original penalty. And now there's some sting in this Kiwi's defence, and it's Burgess, who gets Tarpanet and Tetevano. Hastings. 
Now Bateman comes back. Merrill Clark out there too, wearing 16 now. Walker for Warrington. John, in the game, John Bateman. John. Corey Hardaway to Naira. Lucky not to be penalised there. The referee's going to allow it to continue. What a mess that was. John Bateman. Well, it's on again here now. Corey Hardaway to Naira. I don't think he could get out of there. Otherwise, he would have rolled away. And now everyone wants to get in there. So, in such a tense game, things always boil over. Separate, separate. Right. Stand elbow separate. to the face. Have a look here. Separate. Yeah. Elbow. Yeah. separate. Corey had a word at Naira. Down the lamp, please, we'll deal with it. Thank you. Grabs a hold of yeah, Josh Bateman, so. and Bateman's Thanks. trying to get on. He's so we've got John Bateman yeah. at Copped the whack start. in the eye to yeah. start with and then you've, Corey. you've got Corey who's lying in the ruck, which was from the penalty, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yes, mate. Time off. Then, then Roger, Barbie. So then Roger, Roger and John Bateman are pushing and shoving, okay? Yeah. Mate, you need to talk to both captains. Yeah. If this continues, you will be setting them down, okay? So the first penalty is going against Bateman. Is that what you Edge? So we're saying the first penalty is against Bateman. No, the, you've already got your first penalty, right. mate. Yeah, okay? No you already have. James! Well, I actually think that's been well handled again by the officials. So okay, the penalty is... Got a little bit of the frustration all out of the system here. any more nonsense, players are going to be sat down. And now but we James, need to see James, clear? Yeah, clear? All right. Time back on. So it is... Wormsley with solid contact. He's British players to beat. Lining them up, and there's another penalty. Surely he gets Tenovano this time, but not given. Close call there, Hastings. Move, get square! Oh, let the fuse in this second half. Wait! Go to. Clark it is. Tackle in. Many of Kiwis in there looking for some dominant tackles. Nakora it was. As this game suddenly come alive, Burgess hit nicely. Great offload from Tom Burgess. Is that Adam Blair on Burgess? Sending him backwards. Clark a dummy half, Graham. Would it? That's a great chase. Good line speed from the Kiwis. Tackle from Marshall, was it? No. Ted of Arnold. Last play here. Lomax to McGilvray. Turn over on the turn. And that's going to be a Kiwis ball not played at, is the ruling. What a great set of six in defence from the Kiwis. Take a bow. Players coming out of the line, and then players coming with them as well. But a wet Naira, maybe in for a HIA. The passing here, well, this is a shot to start with from Joseph Tarpany on Burgess, followed by Corey Hadawira Naira. And they flow right out to the right edge. Gareth Woodham is towed up by Zane Tedavano. That was good to watch. So Joseph Tarpany turned into a defensive machine this season, Daryl. Let's go, Vines. Oh. Head in. Head in, Johnny. Probably of Newcastle. We're finding a nice home in Canberra. Out, Tamakon! One. 17 minutes to play, Richie. Not much action on the field, but certainly plenty of action. Well, certainly needed the game, needed a lift. Certainly got that spark, that aggression from both teams. But the defence we've shown there with the Kiwis was just superb. Real aggression, real good line speed. We've got a subtle change here as Kenny Bromwich has jumped into the dummy half position. Cody Nikorima is on the bench. He might have done his dash for the day, or maybe he's just getting a breather. Good to hear the Kiwis chart here at Eden Park 2. Tarpani offloads there potentially to Bromwich. That might have been interesting. Kenny Bromwich was seen him play dummy half before. And as the set completed, Ryan Hall looking into the sun. And he's taken it nicely on his 10, but it's a long way back here for Great Britain, and they need points. It was a nice kick. Oh, and good work from Amalo closing down the option as the pass hits McGilvray. Ryan Hall. Move, get square! Hold! Hold! Oh, at some point, need to get a bit more adventurous. Still haven't had a line break in the game, Daryl. 64 minutes now. 
Ways in! Ways in! Go, Sweet. Right hand. This is exactly where the Kiwis want Great Britain trapped inside oh, their own area. Now. Late in the tackle Hold count it. on four. Hold! Go for it. Tummy half. Graham. Shift to the ball. It's been trapped by Wormsley. Wormsley had held back. It might have been the line break they were looking for. So Great Britain started this match in the 30th minute. They completed it at 100%. And then back-to-back -back errors as Corey Hutterwera Nora from Judge that he'll need to set a HOA test. And this is a pretty simple catch and pass from front row to front row. But you can see the pressure of the defensive line. And the eyes drift straight onto the black jersey, causes the error. And now, well, completed sets. Great Britain of 28, the Kiwis 22. That is just classic Adam Blair, wasn't it? Really was. Nickel clutch there. So how do we tonight has come off the field for an HIA and Nicarima's gone back on. Kings have been on the man at the moment, remember four and Richard in the six minute with that dislocated shoulder Tarpany, they're zeroing in on him. Looking for a bit of payback, those British players. Hargrove's back onto the football field. Once he'll complete that, complete the game now. Benji Marshall. Needed to be made, and that Great Britain team were very pleased. They put pressure on them there, and they what the scrum Stella, quickly. Let's go, New Zealand! Come on. Benji Marshall. This was a simple catch and pass. He had players both on the inside and the outside as options as well. 21 missed tackles to Great Britain. He's taking it to the line a bit more in this game, which has been better to see. But more uh, direct running from him. Let's go, Bind. Cody, let's go. Last hey, hey, week. Head in. K ball in. Out, time I come. One. Move, chance. Back in. Wait, wait. Go one. Two. He's tapping in on Graham again. Square. It was Tetavano that time. Wormsley shifted this time. These key players having an intercept. Move, guess what? Ryan Hall tackled on the 40. Ryan on the mark. Go free. Connor at dummy half. Wormsley almost taken by Tetavano. Zane, come on. Wait, wait, go for Two more tackles in the set. Here comes Hastings to the line. It's Widdop. Drawn pass, John Bateman looking for the offload. Still it's well done from him, and Burgess has made another 12 metres. Fast play the ball. Britain got to spread it here. Hastings, what a beautiful pass. Can Hall finish off? Why shorts? Why Hall can't quite get there? Scrambling D. There's a penalty here for a high tackle on Ryan Hall. High tackle. This carnage is players Jared, everywhere. Jared! Jared! Jake! Jake! Lost opportunity here for Great Britain. Good bust up the through the middle on, with the offload from Bateman before Burgess carries it on. And right at the end here, let's have a look. Well, Marshall, right on the chops of Ryan Hall. But it was a tackle that had to be made, otherwise he scores in the corner. Well, Britain, Great Britain have got to score it in the set, really. Stand. Have any chance in Wait. this game? Wait! Go on. They're trying to bounce their way over. It's Wormsley getting very close. He's lost it. Play on is the call. There's a try. They're going to look at it. The player who's gone over is Daryl Clark. Mate, he's tackled one. Yes, mate. We have a try. Yep. Just check that the ball is stolen by New Zealand. Okay. Playing on for advantage of the ground. Okay, too easy. Video after director. So the uh, initial contact here. The previous tackle with there's, I think, sure three or four Kiwis in the, the tackle. Kiwis. And then we'll follow That's possibly from ripped out, which keeps the ball live. <laughs> referee is Chris Kendall. Video referee Henry Perinara. This is it, Big Wormsley. Okay. Right into Tuivasa Shek. Provides the initial contact. 
what happens here. Yep. So and just follow the through now. Hargrave to hand in there, the right arm. Okay. And does, right, there's still there's okay, there's multiple uh, defenders in the tackle. Okay. Yep, Britain the core has stripped the ball out. So we're playing on to this stage for a greater advantage. Just make sure that the pickup is clean. Yep, Daryl Clark, is it? Yep, Daryl Clark picks the ball up cleanly. Okay, now I'm going to need to see a grounding, please, mate. A potential grounding. Now it'll be from this top angle here. Yep. Does Cody Nicarima hold up Daryl Clark as he goes into the ground football? Go through Arnold there. The end of the football. And the answer is no. Nope. Ball looks like it's grounded. Have you got something from the other side, mate? This should be our one. He maintains position so far. Yep. And Daryl Clark rounds the ball in the end goal. Bobby, we're going with the try. We're going to send it to the board. It's a very close call as it turned out. And only just grazed the glass. Oh, the glass. The grass. Too many G words. Try this to Great Britain. <laughs> Big score there for Daryl Clark. His second try in International Rugby League. Couldn't quite absorb all of that pressure. The field position of Great Britain. A couple of penalties in there as well. Sets up a beautiful finish for the game. Important kick this. Gareth Wooder. Kicks into a really stiff breeze here. It's certainly a live game, isn't it? 12 to 6. 12 to 8. He's buried it. That's lovely. Wittip converts the try, and it's 12 to 8, with just over 10 to play. Good play from Daryl Clark, wasn't it? Richie Barnett. That was great to work, work, buddy. It was outstanding for Daryl Clark to get around Benji Marshall, who's normally the player that will do Extremely good footwork from Daryl Clark. Well, the Kiwis haven't seen the football for a little while now on attack. Important to get it back in their hands. So it's Tom Burgess. Jesse Wormsley doing a good job to start the set. The Great Britain leads the way in metres for Great Britain here this afternoon. Burgess with 90. Ruck speed is good on the set here from Great Britain. Here's the try scorer Clark. At the halfway line on the fourth tackle. This is better. From Great Britain. Philbin back out there now. Is that Whitehead? Last play here. And there's Philbin. He skips the last play. It's the contest. The two of Arsashek has that one under control. Again, not choosing to contest. Just happy to hand the football over 15 metres out from the try line. Hands all over the player. Sarko comes in for a charge. Keep an eye on the 10 here. He's got a big 10. Certainly has. And Great Britain would love another error. Right now. Start the play. They've started a chance in their arm with some long passes over the top, haven't they? Manu. Nakarima. Did he knock that on? Play on is the call. We gathered before it hit the ground. It was a close call. Maria Hargreaves. Last tackle has come, and Marshall. Made it to Sedages. Ryan Hall has a good chase from two Kiwi players there, Nakora and Nisako. That's Connor. Big lad, isn't he, Jake Connor? Debut for England in the Denver Test. One of the setters for this game. Play last week, of course. McGilvray. Discipline the key here in the last 10 minutes for both sides. Penalties 8 5 to Great Britain. Lomax is coming home. Two adventurers here these last nine minutes, but they need something. Verna Try would really turn this game on its head. Are they going up the middle this time? Hastings looks for a hole. Jackson Hastings is through. The chase is critical. Two bats are sick. 
did really well. And gee, the Kiwis very fortunate that Hastings couldn't leak up with a teammate there. Last play, Whitehead with it. Looking to exploit some space on this right. That's a great kick from Gareth Witter. And Tuivasa Shek forces, and we've got a line dropout, the first of the game. The first repeat set of the game as well. We're just hanging on here, Great Britain. This is the bus from Hastings. Goes between Hargraves and Tetevano. Not a great effort from either. game comes to life and then finally Gareth Woodham gets a kick that he'd be proud of and he's to check after making a tackle on Hastings did a good job to get back there but this is game on now Richie Barnett big time absolutely this is what you want test footy eight minutes to go only four points in this game and that was a great run there from Jackson Hastings deceptive runner that's a good kick too Loader off the boot. Look at this straight into the charging and wow! Swilburn. Yeah, we like him. He can come back. Uh, he'll be good news is he'll be back next week. Oh, there's a steal! The way goes Hughes! Wow, what a big play from Jerome Hughes. Massive. Stole some yards. Possibly changes the momentum. He's back in Great Britain's half. A good clock stat. Reckon about the Kiwis here. They're going to go for a killer blow. We'll just play the percentages here. It's an outside back set really here for the rest of the game. Scoots out of dummy half, back to the middle. Here they play a bit with Nakora running behind players. He's got pace, Nakora. It's a good tackle coming in there though by Zach Hardacre. Kenny Bromwich. Karima. Here's the last play, Marshall. Where's the kick? It's Kemal Malo. Well, the Kiwis communication may be questionable there, Daryl Halligan. Yeah, Benji Marshall and Jerome Hughes were both caught on the left edge, and that's actually where the ball was from the last play with Ken Mamalo being dropped under. So one needed to provide themselves on the right. Anyway, that's what this match footy does to you. It's been a real grind down with Gulbray in a bit of trouble. Burgess, Tom Burgess coming nicely into the game now, Burgess up over the 100 metre mark, Chris Hill about to come back on for the last six minutes, here's a shift of the ball, Whitehead hit hard by Joseph Manu, that's brilliant width from the ruck from Hodgson, lovely pass, Clark still out there, Philbin, so Clark stay out there, Here's the Lomax, there's a pass to McGilvray! Two marks a set with a try-saving tackle. Should have passed in field. Big chance here if they spread it. They've got to really spread it. Win it. Looking for a repeat set again. Doesn't get the bounce of the ball and Tarpany is just on it for the Kiwis. Hold. Go on. There are opportunities just there. The they bust down the right. Go to Wondon Rush. Thought McGilvray had an unmarked player on the inside. Move, Decided Buck. to go himself. Wait. Go free. Oh, well, well. Interesting lineup, too, for Great Britain on the field at the moment. No Josh Hodgson, no Tom Burgess, no James Graham either. They're all on the bench at the moment. It was a good run, but we're only on the 30 and it's last. Where's the kick? It's got to be a good kick here. Benji Marshall goes for maximum distance. Here comes Johnny Lomax. Surrender. I like Lomax, good fly. He's had a good match. 60 run metres for Johnny carries. Lomax. Yep. Here's Hall. Oh, getting useful in midfield. Two. Move, the Kiwis are in trouble Wait, with missed tackles. 25. Two. They're starting to really clock up, and their line speed on defence isn't as effective anymore. Connor. Oh, that skillful play did really well to stay in sight the field of play there great britain looking for more opportunities in these last three or four minutes with it has his hands on the ball back comes philbin seem to be finishing the better don't they they sure do clark 
Good energy from this great Britain team all of a sudden. Would it to John Bateman? Would it again? Here comes the try, McIlvray! Time off. I've got no time. Don't look like they're celebrating. There's a chance he might have dropped this. Hedge, that was tackle four. Yep. We have no try. Yep. Just check he doesn't ground the ball, please. So he's a video of a little play here from Wood with Probably a double round to create the extra player. Seven. And some tire in defence. Got backpack here. And right at the end, the hand of is it Manu? Uh, he's ripped into the elbow. That's gone, yeah. Lost it. And and goal. Yep. Okay, we're going out to the classic. twenty here, mate. It's Kenny Bromwich, I think. And we're sending it to the screen. And Two he seven. loses control of the football. Yep, yeah, 20, 20 metres, no try. Someone needs to buy him a beer after this game. He doesn't well, need to buy anything. Don't worry. Off, though, boys, we've got a man down. Jermaine McIlvray within a millimetre there of locking think, the scores up. I don't think Kenny Bromwich has moved either. Two trainers with no try. Guys, can you check the side or can you get HIA credit? Right, we just heard there from the referee, it's an HIA, in fact. He's going through the process at the moment with Kenny Bromwich. Corey had a word at Naira, returning in Jersey 15. This is the plate, and there, around the back goes Wood with the quick hands from Lomax. Hardacre offers the gift to McGilvray, who in essence has bombed two in the last. 10 minutes. Well, well, well. What a finish to this game with the Kiwis out on their feet defensively, but somehow surviving a miracle tackle there from Kenny Bromwich to keep the Kiwis ahead. Adam Blair bouncing around on the sideline here, just wanting to get back onto that football field. This is where I thought McGilvray had a player on the inside. Again, they strip them for numbers on the left and they bite. And here, oh, to be fair, good work from Lisa now, Mal. That's a big moment. Good work from the front row to provide that space to take out an opportunity or a threat. Don't forget, folks, to stay with us on the broadcast. We have the third game coming up between Australia and Tonga. And I can tell you, 90% of the crowd here at Eden Park right now are wearing red. And we're expecting that crowd to really build up. To kick off towards that game. Check back in to the fold, followed by Manu. The Kiwis hanging on. And that tough pass was a bit dicey from Nakarima. Nakarima, he's bleary, he's got his wish, he's back out there. For a, three more minutes in his 50th test. You would love it. nothing more than to be victorious. To Ivasa Shek. Right second half by his standards. Got a couple of very important tackles from him. Nakarima on the last. Benji plugs the sideline, soaks up the clock. Drills a scrum. touch. Making Great Britain restart with a scrum. They'll go quickly. Just okay, two and a half Let's minutes go. left, which would suggest there would be maybe three. Right down! Come on. Three Jackson, we've got a ball. Six left in the game. Head in! Jared, head in! 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 But Go it's on. about execution and taking opportunities, and that a suck or try, and that Harawira Naira try, and good defence there. He All helps. Go to. But the Great Britain team Boom. will believe they've still he got an opportunity in these last two minutes. Clark continues to play at dummy half. No sign of Josh Hodgson. As Wood it tries to get Lomax to weave some magic. Great Britain still have 70 metres to go upfield, though. Bateman. What can the second row of the year create? He's got some space. Oh, Whitehead just couldn't get it to Jake Connor. This 
is dangerous. Bateman skips past another couple and somehow gets an offload again, but plenty of Kiwi jumpers there. Now we've reached the last. Would it? Much he can do there. Can't really put in an attacking kick. He just gives possession back to New Zealand and back comes Kim Malmala. Followed the take Ken. Found his opposite. Ran straight at him. This is clock stand. Winding the clock down. There won't be anything flash here from New Zealand in this last minute. This will be a really good win for the Kiwis under. Some adversity here. Four and out in the first five minutes. No Brandon Smith. Cody Nikarima arrives in camp the night before. Yes, and of course, no other. This Kiwis team has got some firepower missing up front too. They found a way to win. It seems. Play the ball. Time off. Time off game for Nikarima. Not a winner, Nida. He'll enjoy this. One of the two Kiwi try scorers in the game. And that will soak up time. That could be the game. Mike Britton have one more opportunity. Can they set their scrum? That's game set and match, folks. Well, what a grinding win. Not much between those two teams. But there it is, the Kiwis have found the way. Wasn't pretty here at Eden Park, but they win it by 12 points to eight.